Hey everyone, what's up, Newbie Snake here. How are y'all doing today? All right, so the maintenance for Naruto Shippuden Ultimate Ninja Blazing is over and we've got a ton of updates. So let's go through all of them today in this video. The updates that I'm going to talk about applies to both the English and the Japanese version of the game. In cases where the events are specific to a specific version, then I'll mention it when I begin to talk about it. So let's get started. All right, so the first up, we have an important notice from the developers themselves. It's regarding the app version update 1.1.3, and it's only causing troubles for the iOS users. I'm one of the iOS users, but luckily, I guess I don't have any issues. That's why I can launch this app and I'm able to read this notice. I'm not too sure how the people having this issue is able to to read this notice, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, you know, uh, that's why I'm making this video for you guys. Anyway, so what's happening is they're currently uh, investigating this issue right now. And the people who are having issues trying to launch this app or play this app for your iOS device or from your iOS device, this is a known issue right now. And uh, one thing that they would like to remind you guys who are having issue is if there is any chance that you may not, well, or it says that there is a chance that you may not be able to reinstall the app properly if you decide to delete and reinstall the app. So let's say you're having issues, you can't launch the app, or you're having a lot of bugs inside the game. You try to delete it and then download the new app and then try to reinstall it again. That will have a chance of not working as well. It says there's a chance that that will fail too. So. That means there's some, you know, pretty huge issue going on right now. So if you guys are having issues, then I don't know, try not to play for a few days or something. Or if you guys must delete and reinstall the app, it says if you do reinstall the app, please be aware that you need to transfer your user data to continue the same data. Meaning, please issue your transfer code along with your user ID. All right, take screenshots, send it to your own email or write it down on a piece of paper and stuff like that, or do both. So you make sure you know what your ID is, what your transfer code is. And when the app gets fixed, then you can, you know, re-import your ID into the game. All right. So this is important. And that's why I need to, you know, show this to you guys first, because I receive a ton of comments uh, for like other games like Shinobi Collection, and other games like Gundam and stuff like that, like where you guys lose your accounts and stuff and, and stuff like that. I, you know, I don't like to see you guys losing an account. It really sucks. So make sure, uh, even if you guys are on Android, make sure to take a screenshot of your ID, of your transfer code, write it down on a piece of paper, whatever. Just do it in case any other things will happen to you guys in the future. All right. So do that. Secondly, uh, even though it's just important, but I think it's kind of minor. It's just a display error for the limit brick crystals all right so right now the range for some of the limit brick crystals are displayed incorrectly it's displayed as short instead of some other things but they are going to fix it in the next game update so that's you know a minor thing that we just need to uh, get through and now we're on to some bigger updates okay and again the first two news that i talked about applies to both the english version as well as the japanese version and this one also applies to both the Japanese and the English version as well. So anyways, they are now, or now they have introduced a new feature, okay, yet again, is whenever you level up or acquire an ability for your character, now the team cost of that character will go down as well, all right? So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, let's, uh, you know, quickly take a look at my my team all right then you guys will know what i'm talking about so quickly take a look at an example right here so if i click on enhance right now i'll see my whole team right so for example if i click on my gara you will then see well that screen if i you if you hold it then you see the, these screens right i mean the screens and you see these abilities right here so these abilities right here, these are your abilities. The only way to increase these are to feed it with the exact same card or the same card with the same title. All right. So this is a five stars Gara. If I happen to make him into a six stars, I can still feed the five stars version to the six stars to increase the abilities. All right. That I've talked about that in uh, my very first tutorial video. So if you guys recall, then that's good. If not, then um, now I'm telling you guys again. All right, so for example, Konohamaru, you see these 
you know, being lit up, meaning I have already fed him with himself. So I fed him with another three stars and I accidentally fed like the four stars version to a three stars instead of the other way around. But anyways, whatever, it's Konohamaru. Um, so now both his abilities are like turned on, right? So now it's available for me to uh, not use. It's a passive ability. It's unlocked now. And the team cost now has gone down to four from whatever it was originally. All right. So that's how you increase a character's ability. You must feed it with the same card. Well, quote unquote same uh, or like the same tree of card, meaning if it's a you know, three stars Konohamaru that can go to a four stars, you can three feed that three stars to a four stars or feed that four stars to the four stars, etc. Right. But you can't put another Konohamaru like like a totally different version of him for that three stars or the four stars version. All right. So you have to put like the same uh, line of card to in order to awaken the ability or unlock the ability. But anyway, so that's the feature that we used to have, but now there's an additional feature on top of that. So whenever you acquire a new ability, like whenever you unlock it, now your team cost will also go down. All right. That's actually very crazy. So for example, it's showing the six stars Naruto right here. His team cost is supposed to be 48, but once you acquire all five abilities, meaning you fed him with five other same Naruto's like same, uh, card or same tree of Naruto, then his total team cost at the end goes down to 24. That's really ridiculous, guys. I, you know, I was going to say, I don't really know why they do this, but yet I do know because, you know, the more you spend <laughs> on getting gachas, the more repeats you're going to get, the more repeats you get, the more benefits you get. So meaning the more well, it go, it's like a circular argument. So it, the more gems you spend or the more money you spend, then you're going to get higher chance of getting this benefit, right? So yeah, it's pretty obvious why, but I was pretty surprised how, you know, they just introduced these kind of stuff. That's that's crazy advantage, like really. Well, it's Bandai Namco. What can you do? Um, anyways, all right. So... And also, they, they have this tagline, it says, Be aware, update content and timing may be subject to change without notice. Future content is subject to change without notice. So, I don't know if people complain enough, it will change, or if people, like, spend a lot of money making the team cost go down 24, and they're like, nope, we're wiping this change, and then reverting everything back to, like, normal. It's really gonna suck, but I don't think they're gonna... Well, I don't think they can or supposed to do it. It'll just make a lot of people angry. But anyways, uh, enough of that. Uh, let's go through the next one. The next one, it's uh, pretty minor. It's just a fr max friend point amount increase. Uh, usually we have like a max friend point amount of, uh, uh, what, 10,000? Now it's increased to 20,000, all right? And also another update regarding the quick save data. We actually have that quick save data update already last time, but this time for some reason they're in like they're saying it again, basically. Uh, so I already know about this. So quick save data, I don't like the new quick save data. Quick save data is like, you know, when let's say you're in a mission and then you suddenly got disconnected or you just turn off the game uh, and then restart it. You're usually going to start at the beginning of that stage, right? So for example, you're in a mission, there's three stages that you need to go through. If let's say you went through the first stage, now you're on the second stage and let's say you're like in half way of the battle, you got disconnected, the app crashed, you start up again, you usually start off at the very beginning of stage two but now with the quick save data being introduced that's not the case anymore it affects like every single turn uh that you do so for example if i have uh kakashi gara and neji right so my neji decide to use auto attack and my kakashi decides to use a skill attack and then i disconnected it it's not it's now not going back to the beginning of stage two, where I can use my Neji again, it's going to start after my, or, or before my Kakashi does my skill. So it's going to reload the quick save data where you last made a decision or a turn, okay? So I actually don't really like this because lots of time you made a mistake or I made a mistake, I wanna you know, restart it and try to correct it. I can't now because <laughs> your mistakes are made you can't go back. So once an action is finished, 
then you're done. You're gonna stick with your mistake and waste a stamina of yours if you fail the mission. So anyways, it's gonna say that. So it's not gonna be erased when you used to return to a mission. Uh, but one thing they wanna let you guys know is when maintenance begins, all the quick save data will be deleted. When you relaunch the app, um, you're gonna start everything fresh again, all right? Meaning like you're just gonna have to uh, do a, start a new mission again. And also there's this messaging system with friends. And also it says messaging friends is now conducted using a preset message. So you can't really set your own messages yet. I don't think so. But anyways, that's it. Those are the one, two, three, four, five, five news that applies to both the Japanese and the English version. Okay. And now I'm going to talk about the English uh versions events first and then i'll go through the japanese one with you guys all right so these ones you guys have already seen uh if you guys have been watching my uh uh channel uh the first one will be the special ninja pearl set all right so if you guys remember i've purchased two times for the sakura set where i spent about what 30 dollars for like 50 gems and over here we don't have any details yet so probably it's gonna be about that as well uh, so it's cool because even uh, the English version is getting these updates all right because a lot of people are afraid that you know usually the global versions do not get the same treatment as the Japanese version but in this case probably because of GRI right GRI Inc they're really awesome and stuff they're co-developing this with Bandai Namco so probably they get more say in this as not more say but equal say in this so we're also getting the sale in the English version all right so again, it's going to feature that uh, five stars Sakura, the purple one that can be evolved or awakened to the six stars one. All right. So I'm not going to go through uh, too much into that uh, because I've already done so uh, in the past. And then a second event that we are having now is the Rock Lee and Neji summon banner. So if you guys are you know wanting to get either the Rock Lee or Neji, it is now available in the summons gotcha. So you guys can go check it out and also now there's the boss event, uh, you know, featuring uh, the the Rock Lee. So same thing as the the event on the Japanese version that we had, like what one or two weeks ago. If you complete, you know, one of the missions, you will have a chance of getting the four stars Rock Lee. All right. So that's it for you, guys. Let's go through the next one as well. Let's see. And the last one is the Phantom Castle. Phantom Castle coming soon for the English version players. And obviously we are getting the Hinata this time. All right, that's awesome. We basically just had this like, we, we just had this in the Japanese version is now out. So I, I really like this because the Jap, I mean the English version is just right behind the Japanese version without like much delay whatsoever. So that's it. Uh, that's all the news I have for the English version. And regarding details, like in terms of how to get more pearls in these like raid events and stuff like that, you guys can just, you know, click on this button right here and just see this. All right. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So now let me quickly switch over to the Japanese version and talk about the Japanese version. And uh, for you guys who play on the English version, you guys can also check that out to see what's going to be uh, coming so you guys can you know, see if you guys want to save up your gems for those new gachas or plan on how to defeat those boss rates and stuff like that. All right. Because, you know, you then know where to spend your resources and stuff, right? Leveling up which uh, sort of units and stuff like that. But anyways, I'm going to switch to uh, the Japanese version right now. So give me one quick second. All right. So we're back with the Japanese version. And the one for like the first thing you notice on the top left hand corner was the Tsunade and the Kabuto, uh, you know, thingy or the display or the banner. And I called it. I'm really happy because I was having a conversation with uh, one of my viewers and uh, I was saying like, you know, I really wish Tsunade would come out because we have like Jiraiya and with Orochimaru, but we're Tsunade, right? We need a better healer than the current Kabuto that only heals 1780, like 1780. I was like, you know, we better have a Tsunade that heals like 2000 damage. I'll be like, you know, super, it'll be super awesome and stuff like that. And guess what? <laughs> oh my goodness. I can't believe it. It's just crazy. Um, I got like no inside news or whatever. I was just dreaming, right? I was just, you know, wishing out loud, kind of calling it in the meantime and it's here guys this is our next gacha well 
like literally it's now, it's here right now. And uh, we have two new units. We have Tsunade and Kabuto, guys. This is a new Kabuto. He's a green type uh, attribute unit. So he's not the purple one. And he actually does pretty good heals too. So let me quickly tell you guys this. Uh, so what Tsunade does is she will heal everyone within her range. Uh, heals their HP by 1020, okay? So a team is made of three people for this game. And so if there are two players or two units that are close together, you just walk your Tsunade over and it will heal them both. Each healing them uh, 1020 HP. So meaning in total, you're probably gonna only heal 2000 and 2040, all right? And but also one cool part is this. This is the this is actually the more OP part. If you are put under the status where you can't use skills, so when you're you're getting skill binded, she will recover that, it says. So she not only heals your whole team, but she also recovers or, or unlocks the skill binding status. So you no longer skill bind. Alright, so that's another. And uh so now we have Kabuto. I think this is actually pretty good, is because he heals himself, all right, of 2,020 HP. So why is this good? It's because it heals the similar amount as Tsunade when she has to go to two uh, of your teammates to heal 1,020 each, and then totaling up to 2,040. But Kabuto can just hide himself in the corner and healing himself 2020. So he doesn't need to get close to anyone. If let's say your whole team's un like in danger and you're about to die, he just go to a corner and heal himself and he doesn't even need to take incoming uh, damage, right? So that's actually pretty good if you are knowing how to use it, all right? So these two are probably gonna be, or actually not probably, these two are definitely some really good healers, right? Right here. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna do one poll and let's see what I get, okay? <laughs> It's crazy, my luck for this game uh, so far. I'm just, I'm just liking this. So let's see what I get later on. But now let's move on to the the emergency missions. Okay. So let's quickly take a look at the emergency mission right now. We are having the new mission right here. We have the Orochi Maru mission. Oh look, Rock Lee's mission is also here as well. Or maybe it was always here. I just didn't really pay attention. But anyways, there's this new Orochi Maru um, emergency mission. The the special requirements are the same for the B rank and the C rank. The first one is you need to complete it with only heart type characters, meaning only uh, uh, what red type characters. The second one is completing with only green type attribute characters. And the third one, you will need to complete it with the blue type characters only. All right. And if you do that, you get one gem for the first requirement, three gems for the second requirement, five gems for the third requirement. And now uh, this is much like uh, the other events where they give you like a four stars available drop. So this one will be giving you a four stars Orochimaru if you're able to complete uh, the missions, okay? It's a random drop, so right here. This is the four stars Orochimaru that you can get, all right? So just farm it enough times, then if you get lucky, you get it uh, as a drop. So finally, we have uh, the last mission that is incoming, so it's not here yet, but it's coming. So this is another boss or raid mission. Uh, it's also under the emergency mission, much like the, the Rock Lee right now, right? He's categorized as like a boss slash raid mission. So this time, if you are completing this, you will have a chance of getting four stars Gara. So far, we don't know the HP, the attack, and the range of him yet. But uh, that's pretty cool. That's all we know and it's incoming soon. It doesn't say when, it just says soon. So when it comes, then I'll probably record another video showing you guys uh, the mission, all right? So now on to the exciting part, on to uh, the gacha, guys. So please wish me luck again. I really hope I'll get Tsunade because, you know, I just, I just like Tsunade a lot. I don't mind getting Kabuto at all because he's definitely a really good healer, but I just want a Tsunade, you know? Uh, also because of her attack and HP as well. So here we go. Uh, for some reason, I'm not feeling like I'm gonna get them, but let's just see what I get. Let's just see what I get. If I get it, my luck is just, you know, really over the top, it's crazy. All right, here we go. Please wish me luck, guys.
Yes! Will Sakura come out? Let's see. Oh! What do you think, guys? What do you think? Both Kabuto and Tsunade? What are we gonna get? Oh my goodness, this is exciting, guys. Oh, we got a Kankudo, alright. Here we go, Tsunade. Up next. Oh! Well, I guess, okay. <gasps> oh! We have a, we have a Eno? I didn't know that. Yeah. I think it's, I think it's an okay poll, having like two five stars in one. You know, nothing really much to complain about. I was actually legit happy seeing two <laughs> uh, gold shadows coming up from uh, the gacha. Because, you know, I know the pain, guys. I rerolled a lot of times for my English version, like almost, like out of 10 multi poles, probably like three of them comes up with a gold... Uh, gold shadow but this but my japanese account is just insane so yeah as i said i didn't get those two but hopefully hopefully i'll be able to get them uh soon i don't know maybe in an upcoming gacha or when i get to 50 gems again so we'll see but thank you so much everyone for watching i hope you guys find this video helpful if you guys enjoyed this video please hit that like button and if you guys haven't subscribed yet please subscribe for more quality contents and please feel free to spread this video to anyone you know anyone you see online and uh you know and just anyone all right feel free to do that and as always i'll see you all at my next video take care and bye now